and welcome to episode 12 of Strive, where we talk about security, technology, resilience, and everything IT, all in a virtual environment. I'm Darren Thompson, your host, and today we're going to talk about some important differences between traditional disaster recovery plans and more modern cyber recovery plans. Why are they different? And what is the significance of the misunderstanding that often occurs when it comes to the scope and impact of these plans? Before we start, my usual disclaimer, please do not forget that the information provided here is for general informational purposes only. It does not constitute legal advice and may be subject to change. Now, if you think your traditional disaster recovery plan has you covered against modern cyber threats such as ransomware, it's time to think again. Today, we'll explore why traditional DR strategies are no longer fit for purpose when it comes to recovering from modern cyber attacks and how businesses really need to rethink their approaches to recovery. At the heart of most DR plans is the assumption that replicated data is always clean and ready to be restored. These plans were designed for natural disasters and hardware failures and so on. They operate on the principle that whilst a primary site might go down, the data replicated to a DR site is untouched and safe and ready to use. Of course, in the face of cyber attacks, especially ransomware, and really any attack involving malware and data corruption, this assumption is no longer valid. As we replicate data from one site to another, it's perfectly reasonable to assume that as we use particularly synchronous replication techniques, we might actually copy malware that has infected the production site over to a second site. In addition, ransomware and other cyber threats actively target not just your production environments, but also your backups and your disaster recovery sites. A simple failover to a DR site could end up restoring the infected data and putting your recovery processes back to square one. That's why DR plans on their own can leave organizations vulnerable. And they can also be the cause of long protracted recoveries subsequent to cyber attacks. I've seen 20, 30, sometimes 60 days to recover data. A recent survey commissioned by Convolt and conducted by ESG Group found that 70% of respondents view cyber recovery as more complex and time-consuming than traditional disaster recovery. You see, cyber recovery isn't just about restoring data. It requires forensic investigations to ensure that recovered systems are clean, safe and secure. The process needs also to identify the scope of the attack, contain the threat and prevent reinfection. In fact, 91% of organizations surveyed in the report acknowledged the need for significant forensics to fully understand the extent of a cyber attack before recovery. Rushing to restore data without addressing the root cause of the attack can lead to even greater damage. It's like fixing a leak without turning off the water supply first. Despite these differences, over half of organizations still treat cyber recovery as an extension of their disaster recovery plan. This overlap is a dangerous misconception. Traditional DR service level agreements, SLAs, often fail to account for the unique time and expertise needed to recover from a cyber attack. This is where many organizations fall dangerously short. They think they're prepared, but they're relying on outdated approaches that were never designed to handle cyber attacks, such as ransomware. Another key finding from the Convault ESG report is that cyber recovery plans need to be more granular and they need to work independently from DR plans. While 55% of respondents have confidence in their DR plans protecting mission critical apps, that confidence drops to just 46% when it comes to fully recovering from a cyber attack. Clearly, there's a gap here. So what can business do to address the gap? Well, first of all, recognize that modern cyber recovery plans are not just technical. They are a business imperative and they are about people, process, as well as technology. On the technology side though, investing in robust mutable backups that can't be tampered with by attackers is a key step towards resilience. Additionally, and this might be the most important takeaway here, testing is critical. While traditional DR plans are often tested annually, cyber recovery plans need more frequent testing. It is vital 
to ensure that your recovery processes remain agile and capable of handling fast evolving cyber threats. To wrap up, it's clear that modern cyber threats require a more sophisticated approach than traditional DR plans can ever provide. Your organization's survival could depend on having a well tested, standalone cyber recovery plan that ensures your data is not just recoverable, but clean and safe from reinfection. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Strive. That's all we have time for today. Stay tuned for more stories and insights. And until the next time, stay informed, stay secure, and I will see you in the next one.